Often they encountered storms, observed the lightning in the sky. But they could not know that this was one form of energy which would shatter the barriers to human contact. The story of worldwide mass communication begins in the later 17th century, when Volta in Italy made a discovery of extreme importance. He developed the principles of the electric battery. Batteries make possible a continuous flow of electricity that moves with the speed of light. As a second important development, Watson in England demonstrated that electric current could be conducted from one place to another using the earth to complete the circuit. In the United States, Henry improved an electromagnet so that even a feeble current could produce considerable attracting power on a steel rod. And then another American, Samuel Morse, combined these three inventions. The electric battery, a conductor made of wire, and an electromagnet. By pressing a key, he started a flow of electricity from the battery through the wire. This caused an impulse to flash to the electromagnet at the receiving end. The impulse brought two pieces of metal together and produced a click. This is the original model of the world's first telegraph. In 1844, the first public telegraph message was transmitted over an experimental line between Baltimore and Washington, D.C. Here was a method of virtually instantaneous communication, the telegraph, a development of tremendous importance. Almost overnight, no news was farther away than the nearest telegraph key. The exciting drama of the opening of a new continent flowed across telegraph wires from the farthest outpost to the population centers in the east. And as the railroads went farther west, the wires of the telegraph followed, providing almost instantaneous communication between distant places. Only the ocean remained the barrier. In the 1860s, a difficult undertaking got underway. A submarine cable containing many telegraph wires was planned between North America and Europe. After many months of arduous work and after many breaks in the cable and fresh starts, Europe and America were finally linked by a continuous telegraph wire. The cable rested on the floor of the ocean and carried messages flashed by the keys of telegraphers on both sides of the Atlantic. But despite all this progress, messages could still only be conveyed as code signals. sending 